Here's your lunch. Uh, thank you always. Of course. Have a good day at work. Will do. See you later. See ya. I'm Koki Nakane. That was my girlfriend, Amy. Actually, three months ago, I proposed to her and she said yes, so she was now my fiancé. I was at the top of my world. After we got engaged, we started living together. She worked full-time too, but she always did things around the house for me, so it was really nice. Work's been going really well too. It's all thanks to Amy. I gotta step up my game and make more money so I can buy nice things for her. Morning, Nakane. Sono-san, good morning. We only got a week before the business trip. I'll email you your schedule later, so make sure you go over it once you get it. Roger that. You guys are going to the Sekafushi Fashion Festival in Osaka, right? Yeah. You're so lucky. Companies from all over the world are going to be there. Ugh, I'm so jealous. Just keep at it and you'll get to go there soon. Nakana-san, tell me all about it once you get back, okay? Uh, okay. I worked in the fashion industry. Next week, I was going to travel with my boss to attend this fashion show. Fashion brands from all over the world were coming together for this conference. It was a really big event for everyone in the industry. This was my second time going there. But last year, I was with my other boss, so this was my first time traveling with masona san I bet your fiancé is going to miss you a lot. I don't know about that. <laughs> I told her about the trip a few months ago, but she hasn't said anything. Maybe she forgot about it. You should probably remind her. Yeah, I'll tell her tonight. That evening, I told her about my business trip. Oh, right. I completely forgot about that. Uh, that's what I thought. Good thing you told me, though. Otherwise, I would have ended up cooking dinner for the two of us. Where are you staying? You're not sleeping in the same room as your boss, are you? What? Of course not! We're staying at this hotel called Sky Blue Hotel. Uh, okay, that's a relief. I mean, uh, forget I said that, sorry. Uh, sure, no worries. But that means I'm gonna be all alone in this house. I'm gonna miss you. You can invite a friend over or something if you want. I don't know. All my friends are married now, so I don't know if they can come over. Whatever, I'll just watch a movie or something. Sorry about this. I'll get you some souvenirs, okay? <laughs> Sounds good. A week later. You got everything? Yep. All right then, come here. Travel safe. <laughs> Thanks. You're in a good mood. What are you smiling about? Huh? Oh, sorry, that's nothing. Let me guess, you were thinking about your fiance? <laughs> yeah. I've been on my own for a while, so it's nice living with someone. <laughs> oh, Nakane, you're so sweet. Your girlfriend is so lucky to have you. Thanks. Uh, so what's your boyfriend like? I don't have one. Huh? But the other day you were talking about your boyfriend with someone else. Well, that was a few weeks ago. I did have a boyfriend back then, but... 
Oh, sorry. Don't worry, I'm over him. Masono-san is actually pretty and all, but she's always working late, so maybe that's why they broke up. A few hours later, we arrived at Osaka. We grabbed a cab from the station and headed to the conference. There were lots of familiar faces there. We went around the booths and checked out some of the companies we were thinking about doing business with. There were so many companies there. We didn't have enough time to get to all of them, but we had a great time. Can you take us to Central Earth Hotel? Got it! Oh, I thought you were staying at Sky Blue Hotel. Oh, right. I made a mistake. I used the itinerary from last year and forgot to change the name of the hotel. Sky Blue was fully booked, so I had to change the hotel. Oh, okay. Makes sense. There are lots of guests from out of town today, so... Yeah. Uh, I'm so tired. After dinner, let's finish our report and get some sleep. We still got work tomorrow, so... Yeah, I'm exhausted too. There are so many people this year. Yeah, last time I came here was three years ago, but it wasn't this crowded back then. I hear ya. We grabbed dinner at a nearby restaurant and went back to the hotel to get some sleep. I'm gonna get some water from the vending machine. Could you hold the elevator for me? Okay. Ah, the elevator is here. Uh... Uh... Huh? What's wrong? Come on! Uh... Who's that? Look, it's not what it looks like! You know him! No! Hold on, what are you doing here? I thought you had work today. Huh? What is he talking about? You don't even work here anymore. Who is this guy? You quit your job? No, it's not like that. Look, I came here today to end things with him. After we got engaged, I knew I had to break it off with him, so... Huh? Uh-oh. Hold on, you've been cheating on me this whole time? Sorry for the wait, not gonna... Uh... Shibakubo-san, hello. Mitsono-san? You brought your wife on your business trip? That's nice. <laughs> uh... Uh... Wait, this guy is married? Yeah, he got married three months ago. I saw him at the venue, and I wanted to say hi, but I couldn't do so. It's really good to see you. Was your wife waiting here this whole time? Actually, that's my fiancé. Well, at least that's what I thought. Huh? What? Ah! Wait, I I'm confused. So, you were dating Shiba Kubo's wife? No, that's not his wife! They're both cheating! They said they were breaking it off, but I'm not sure if I believe her. I see. That's messed up. Why were you guys trying to run away, huh? Get out of the elevator now! Okay. Okay. Why is your boyfriend here? You knew he was gonna be here? Yeah, but he said he was staying at a different hotel. Why are you staying here? You said you were staying at the Sky Blue. You lied to me. I didn't lie. I made a mistake in the itinerary. This is my fault, not his. Ugh, look, I'll never see him again. Please forgive me. Ugh. I don't think so, Amy. 
I can't trust you anymore. And every time I look at you, it's going to remind me of this. I can't live with you anymore. The marriage is off. I'll call you once I get back. Uh. Sono-san, could you not tell my wife about this, eh? I promise you it won't happen again. I don't know if I believe you. You should have never cheated on her in the first place. What your wife decides to do is her business, so I won't say anything to her myself, but... I'm gonna have to report this to your boss. The rest is up to him. Ah! Amy quit her job three months ago, right after I proposed to her. I had no idea, and she was cheating on me all along. And her boyfriend was in the fashion industry as well. I had no idea about any of this. I was shocked. I didn't even know what to think anymore, but I still had a long day tomorrow, so I decided to forget about it until the business trip was over. Sono-san, did you see the products from All Heart? It was great. Yeah, I really liked the lineup from Mont Blanc Ribbon, too. Akane, he seems really focused. After what happened last night, I thought he'd be distracted, but... What's the matter, Miss Sono-san? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Hey, um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry, this is my job, so... I'm not gonna let my private life interfere with that. Okay, come on then. Let's get back to work. Got it! I still had a lot of work to do, so I didn't even have time to think about Amy. But a few days later, after I got back from the trip, it all started to hit me. I checked my bank account, and Amy used up all the money we were saving for our wedding. Just as I thought. Whatever, the wedding is cancelled, so screw it. Sono-san? Hello? Hey there, are you alright? I was kinda worried about you. How are you feeling? Ugh, not good. I don't know what to do anymore. And I just found out that she took all the money from our mutual account. Sorry to hear that. My ex. I was thinking about marrying him, but he cheated on me and left me. So I know how it feels. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's not a very nice feeling. You shouldn't let her get away with this. If I was you, I'd sue her for damages too. I had no idea she went through something similar. Okay, I'll think about it. If you need someone to talk to, I'm here. You don't have to do this all by yourself, okay? Okay, thank you. Later, I contacted Amy and asked her to pay me back. I also got her to pay for damages. Then we officially broke up. And the guy she was seeing was in trouble too. Sono-san told his wife about the incident and needless to say, she was furious. It wasn't looking good for him either. So I got my money back, but uh, it didn't really solve anything. I was still hurting. How was the conference? It was great! There were so many people there. Uh, I'm so jealous. They let me go there two years in a row, so maybe they'll send you next year. I hope so. I better get to work then. <laughs> yeah. When I'm at the office, it helps me keep my mind off of things, so it's kind of nice. I don't really want to go home. Being alone right now doesn't help. Not gonna... Yes? Uh, you wanna grab a drink tonight? Oh, uh, you sure? Yeah, why not? Why the long face? Well, uh, I don't know. I'm just a mess right now, so... I'm, it might not be fun drinking with me. It's fine. I'm worried about you, okay? You're one of the best employees here. I don't want you quitting on us. 
It'll get better, trust me, okay? It might take some time, but don't worry. Let me help you. I've been through the same thing, so I know how it feels. Trust me. Sono-san. Thank you. Thank you so much. Come on, let's get to work. Just a few more hours. Okay. Most of my colleagues knew that I broke up with my girlfriend, but Masono-san was the only one who knew exactly what happened. She was the only one I could really talk to. She started taking me out for drinks every week, trying to cheer me up. It was nice having someone to talk to. I was still upset about what happened, but thanks to her, I was starting to feel better. And she was starting to grow on me. I think I like her. It might take some more time for me to move on, but... I think everything's gonna be okay. When things get tough, it's hard to carry everything by yourself. Sometimes you just need someone to lean on. What do you guys think of today's story? Please let me know in the comment section below. See you guys next time. Bye! Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.